Hello everyone, welcome to the 100 drill class. Today we're gonna, going to start off with some briefs from the 100 brief packet or brief sheet. Okay, so I'm going to give you a few briefs and I'm going to give you the way to write them and then I'm going to um, go back and review those, okay? So the first one we have is innocence, initial N, final N, S. Then we have innocent, initial N, final N, T. Instruction, S-T-R-U-B-G-S, which is the X. So S-T-R-U-X on the final side. Ladies and gentlemen, L long A-J. Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, L long A-J-S. Okay, so now I'm going to go through and, uh, and say these a few times, kind of drill you on these, okay? Innocence. Innocent, instruction, ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen of the jury. So you're just adding the S with that one. Innocence, innocent, instruction, ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen of the jury. Instruction, innocence, ladies and gentlemen of the jury, innocent, Ladies and gentlemen, instruction. Ladies and gentlemen, innocence. Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, innocent. And I know right now you're still in, in what's considered a slower speed. Um, so sometimes the reader might say, ladies and gentlemen, you might already be on that before they get to of the jury. But probably by around 140, it's going to get faster and faster and you're going to hear that before you are you, before you even start writing it. So ladies and gentlemen of the jury, it's it's very nice just to write it as L long A J S, you know, and it saves you several strokes. So I encourage you to go back and really um, focus on those, okay? All right. So moving right along, I have a phrase uh, drill. Not all of these can be phrased. Some of the, them can, but um, some of them can't, so they're phrases that people often say. So you're going to phrase wherever you can, possible, save strokes, okay? You're going to hear weather, so don't forget, the brief for weather is W-H-R on the initial side. Okay, whether or not, W-H-R-O-R-N, um, and you're going to hear a lot of the weather or not. Okay, some people even like to write W-H-R-O-R-N-T. I don't like to put in the T because I feel like that's just an added you know, key that you have to hit. So, okay, here we go, ready? Whether he wants, whether I want, whether I wanted, whether or not he wanted, whether or not he wants, whether or not I want, whether or not I wanted, whether or not you wanted and really focus on your accuracy a lot of times our our mistakes come from very simple words like i you and so forth whether or not you wanted whether you want whether you wanted which he wanted which he wants which i want which i wanted which you want which you wanted, who he wanted, who he wants, who I want, who I wanted, who want, who wanted, who wants, who you want, who you wanted, will want, would want, you want, you wanted, he was, don't forget that phrase, E final FS. How was, anything with was is final FS. I was, if he was, you can phrase that whole thing. If I was, again, you can phrase that whole thing. It was, she was, so he was. So you can at least phrase he was. So I was, that he was, you can phrase the whole thing, that I was, 
that was, there was, this was, we was. I know that's not proper English, but some people talk like that. So you're writing what you hear. What he was. Again, you can phrase the whole thing. What I was. What was. When he was. When I was. So most of those toward the end you can phrase. So you're saving strokes. All right. Moving right into consonant compounds. This is going to focus on initial KR, initial PR, final FD. Here we go. The crew crossed the swollen creek. The crash created a problem. She crunched on the crumpet. The cruiser was crushed. The crepe paper was creased in the middle. Did you play cricket or cribbage at Chris's house? We prayed for an end to the pranks. The prefix precedes the noun. President Crowder put pressure on the press. The previous price levels were promoted by the store. The profit provided a proposal. Some prosecutors protested the decision. Amy deserved to be served. He carved the turkey. Al reserved the curved table near the door. Many have lived and loved. The Joneses waved goodbye and moved away last summer. The paved street caved in after the flooding. Nate shaved off his mustache. All right. I've got some sentences here that focus on legal briefs. The first one is contrary, K-R-A-E-R. Uh, I, I've also heard of people writing it as K-R long A-R, so that's up to you. Contributory negligence, T-R-E-G, treg. And counsel, K-O-U-N. Okay, so here are your sentences for contrary. Ready? Contrary to his earlier statement, he was there. If you are so contrary, you will lengthen the trial. Your testimony is contrary to that in the deposition. That whole concept is contrary to my belief. Okay, next one, contributory negligence, treg. Contributory negligence is not a factor here. He was accused of contributory negligence. The defense will attempt to prove contributory negligence. Contributory negligence tempered the amount of his award. Okay, and last one is counsel, K-O-U-N, Town. He is represented by counsel. Counsel pleaded the case brilliantly. Her counsel asked, to be removed from the case. Hand the document to counsel. She needs to seek counseling. He counseled the couple yesterday. Counselor, will you approach the bench? He counsels the students at registration. And one thing this book doesn't have is the brief for counselor, but I use it, and that is K-O-U-N-L. So if you hear counselor, just throw in the L, K-O-U-N-L. Okay, all right. Moving into our next drill, we've got the double O drill. This, this, um, this is where it doesn't necessarily have to have the OO sound, but anytime it's spelled, you have a word that's spelled O-O, you're using your A-O on your machine, regardless of, of how it's 
spelled, or I'm sorry, how it sounds. So the word stood, you know, that's that's a uh, not more of a oo sound, but we still use the a-o for s-t-o-o-d. Okay, all right, here we go, ready? Don't be late for school. The house needs a new roof. The spoon should be on the right. Are you going to the football game? Are you going to leave at noon or sooner than that? It is a wooden fence. He stood in the way. Use the red stool so that you can reach. The bolt is loose. Use proper tools. The floor needs sweeping. Again, floor doesn't have the o o the oo sound, but it's spelled o o, so we use a o. That is a good spot for a picnic in the woods. He is no fool. The coat has a hood. The food is just great. The troops came home last week. Don't be a poor sport. Maybe he snoozed through class. Can you swim the length of the pool? Boulder Dam use, used to be called Hoover Dam. He croons the old ballads. The hen is in the coop. The flood is due tomorrow. The proof is in the pudding. It is cooler today. You must proofread. The sweater is virgin wool. Have you ever heard the cry of a loon? The pool is not deep enough to dive in. If you do it that way, the plan is foolproof. Mr. Cooper told us to clean the pool. If the trees are close together, the woods can be quite dark. John stood up for the smaller boy. He went over to the pool room about noon. A poop deck is a small deck which is over the main after deck of a ship. All right, so I know I... I did a little bit of talking, so we're going over a little bit. I'm going to give you one more drill. These are locations with the radio stations, and you're going to use your initials for the radio station. So if I say WRDD, it's WRBGS, uh, uh, RRBGS, DRBGS, BRBGS. Okay, so don't forget that. All right, here we go. Ready? Lincoln, Maine. W-L-K-N, Hillsdale, Michigan, W-C-S-R, Montrose, Colorado, K-W-D-E, Monmouth, Illinois, W-R-A-M, Fort Morgan, Colorado, K-F-T-M, Crystal River, Florida, W-R-Y-O. Okay, and that concludes our drill portion of the 100 class. Thank you.